Fulke, are you now prepared to see the stone? I'm not yet familiar with this area. I'll come back. We will wait. Fulke, are you now prepared to see the stone? Yes. Let us go see the slab of rock. You may find the stone more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacrus, or the other ones, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Sacrus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is... In fact, the true nature of the universe. <laughs> Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. Patience, brother. We'll find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, 
Eve wins here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone, for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Gidrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? We had our chance! We will speak of this, Avon! I will not forget! <laughs> Minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Stay out of this! Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolfkist. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. <laughs> You move with the wrath of Odin, but you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. 
We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. After us. You there? What's wrong? Here they come! Quick men! Or they'll wipe us out! I'll stage your welcome! <laughs> Ahead. 
I must be careful now. Be my eyes.
Show me. Do you see?
lumbare ad furure de hominibus quasi stercus superrudit a scabra cus. Multi autem sunt in numero, sed mente sua ad modum tenue. soon Sunan, guide me. Are you in the business? 
business of helping you. Dear man, would you live under evil? <laughs> For that is where you will be defeated. There's Fulke. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up. Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wan eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold, wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. This place is heavily guarded. Weakened Edwin's defenses enough. Ambushing her soldiers should be my final strike before the battle begins. What was that?
May you die in a That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods, or could he be a god himself? You've spent too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich. ...to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here... ...to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. 